Welcome to this Easy 11 Plus short lesson on finding angles in triangles. If you find this lesson useful, please remember to like and subscribe and click the bell button. My live lessons are every Tuesday evening at six o'clock in this channel and let's get started. Now I'm going to assume that you have a basic knowledge of what angles are and how to measure them. If you don't, I recommend that you go away and revise these things and then come back to this video, which is really about how to use that knowledge when you're working with triangles. Here's a typical triangle question. So we've got a right angle triangle here. What does a right angle triangle mean? Well, it means it's got one angle, which is like this. And that symbol, the box in the corner, means that it's a 90 degree angle. This angle here is 62 degrees. It might not actually be 62 degrees because the introduction tells us that the triangles here are not drawn to scale. If you're given a triangle like this to work with, if the question doesn't invite you to measure the angles, don't get your protractor out, it might mislead you. Work with the information that's there. You're being encouraged to use your knowledge to work it out. So the crucial thing that you need to know, and this is absolutely essential, is that there are 180 degrees in a triangle. In other words, the three angles in a triangle will add up to 180 degrees. So we've got 90 degrees and 62 degrees. You could do a quick addition, but you can probably see that these add up to 152 degrees. There are 180 degrees in a complete triangle, and we need to subtract to find the difference. So angle A must be 28 degrees. If you're finding this lesson useful, there are lots of links to other resources, including free resources that you can download today, linked in the video description underneath this video. Let's have a look at this one. So here we're only given one angle in the triangle, and we aren't actually given any values here and here. So how can we possibly work this out? Well, think about the other information that we're given here. We're given these three side lengths. And these are all the same. They are equal. This must be an equilateral triangle. And that means a triangle where the sides and the angles are equal to each other. And if the angles are equal, then one of those angles must be a third of the total. And we know that the total degrees in the angles of a triangle is 180. So we just need to do 180 divided by 3. And that's it. So it's actually very straightforward in the end, if you just think about the information that you're given calmly. Here we've got something a little bit different. We don't actually have any complete triangles here, even though the lesson is called Angles and Triangles. But what we do have is a straight line. And you need to know from your own knowledge that just as going all the way around like this takes you through 360 degrees, so going halfway round takes you through 180 degrees. You could say there are 180 degrees in a straight line. And applying that knowledge to this here, we suddenly have quite a simple problem to solve. You need to do 180 degrees, take away 44 degrees, gives us 136 degrees. Here's a slightly more complicated problem where we have to apply a range of skills in steps. Now, when you look at something like this, you might immediately think, how do I get from this and this to working out this? And it probably won't be obvious straight away. What you need to do is just move around the diagram filling things in as you work them out until you have enough information to find the answer. Let's do that. Well, straight away, we can see a problem very similar to the one that we just worked out because we can find this angle here if we take 180 degrees, which is the angle in a straight line, and subtract 98 degrees from that. And that's actually quite straightforward to do mentally if you think that taking away 98 degrees is the same as taking away 100 degrees, which gives us 80, and then adding two back on. So we've got 82 degrees. 
Why do I want to find this angle here? Well, it's because I know how many degrees there are in a triangle. So if I can find this and this angle, then I have enough information to work out this angle. And that will allow me to find D. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. So we found one of our angles. Now let's look over here. Now there's a quick way to do this, but I'll come to that a little bit later. Let's work to it a bit more gradually using what we've already discovered during this lesson. So there are 180 degrees in a straight line. So this angle here must be 130 degrees. So that 50 plus 130 add up to 180. But we've also got a straight line along here. So 130 degrees plus something else here must also add up to 180. So this angle must be 50 degrees. Now this might suggest something else to you. Another rule that we could have used to take a shortcut. Because if you look at these two angles, they're the same. And in fact, if you've got two intersecting straight lines and you take two angles opposite each other across the intersection, like these, or these, the opposite angles will always be the same as each other. So we could have skipped through this problem up here just by noting that both of the opposite angles must be 50 degrees. And now we know that two of the angles inside this triangle are 50 degrees and 82 degrees. And so to find this angle down here, because there are 180 degrees in total in a triangle, we just need to do, which gives us 48 degrees. Now from what we've just learnt, working in this corner up here, angles opposite to each other across a pair of intersecting lines are the same. And so if this is 48 degrees, then D must also be 48 degrees. And that's it. If you found this lesson useful, please remember to like and to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to explore the useful links in the video description. I hope to see you back next Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock for my next Easy 11 Plus live lesson. Bye bye.